Hello drafters, I'm in Ked Premier Drafters back, so just I thought I'd do a quick video and let's see how we do in the draft. Hopefully we'll be able to get a nice, maybe an aggro deck. I think I prefer to get a good deck which isn't an aggro deck, but uh, aggro is definitely something which is you need to keep in mind when you're drafting here. It's not as fast as uh, Amonkhet was, pure Amonkhet, triple Amonkhet that you used to have back in the day, um, but it's definitely faster than Arrow Devastation, which is one of my... I, th I don't know if it's one of the best draft formats I've ever played, but I definitely enjoyed it at the time. Uh, it was right in a point where drafts were still good, they were still enjoyable, but they weren't the strongest in the world. And we're waiting on one person here. There we go. Um, okay, let's see what we'll get. And... Not a bad start. Uh, Nissa is pretty strong. Um, Puncture and Blow is quite good as well. Is a good solid red card, but no, I'm just going to go for the Nissa. Um, quite happy to take this. It's a good late game finisher, and uh, Green's pretty good for making sure we get in those long colours. You can go quite easily multicolour green. Um, however, here. I think the best card in the pack, because Manglehorn's not great. There's not much artifact stuff going on. Um, Fanbear is just absolutely solid. And I love Black White Zombies. I don't think it's as good in this format as it was in Arrow Devastation, but uh, Black White Zombies is great fun, and this is good in that, or um, Red White as well. It's quite good in. Even not too bothered about that one. I'm gonna go for Fan Bearer. I think it's it's just good in a number of decks, and it, it does pick up a bit if you're getting black white zombies. Ooh, Binding Mummy. Um, yeah, I could I could just do a, a nice zombie deck. I think. Uh, here we got Doom of the Center. Don't get many pingers these days. That's interesting. Um. We'll see what we get with uh, zombies. Looks like we're throwing the Nissa out of the deck at the minute here, but uh, we'll see how the rest of the pack goes. Didn't quite get a look at all the names earlier. That's a good name. I don't know who it is, but uh, Spector. Stardust. Good book. Uh, right. So if I get one of the uncommons, the black-white uncommons, um, like, like signpost ones from either of the sets, I think that's going to really solidify us and wanting to push this black-white zombies, but we'll uh, we'll see what comes around. I mean, this is just great. It just allows you to attack through. You can quite easily get a couple of zombies in a turn and just tap, tap down their whole board. Now, if you get a couple of these, it's just unbelievable. Ah, there we go. So that's exactly what we're talking about. Uh, the Wayward Servant. Uh, as long as the battlefield under control, drain one. Gust Walker is a strong possibility here. Uh, Dauntless Aeon, maybe. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for zombies here because I do love that zombies deck. Might not be the correct pick, but it's the one I want to do. And it's a free draft, so I feel like I can get away with it a little bit more. Uh, Disposal Mummy is the one which exiles something. Jero's Resolve. No, thank you. Uh, Miasmic Mummy. And it's Battlefield. Each player discards a card. It's not. I really like the green white, the um, something authority, appeal of authority. Uh, I really like that in like a splash in a deck like this. Uh, it's so good. On the Sphinx. That's cool in the silent deck, but uh, not really what I want to do. We're just going to go for the Disposal Mummy. Um, I think it's good with the Eternalized stuff. Um, and it's obviously just a zombie as well. Trial of Solidarity. Uh, creature to control get plus two, plus one in Vigilance. Um, Cartouche in this battlefield return to my hand. Uh, that's pretty good. Avon is the one that gains life. Trespassers Curses. <laughs> that was just a funny card. Um, sideboard card in some decks as well. I'm going to go for the trial and hope to pick up a cartouche because uh, the black and white cartouches were quite good. 
or a Broken Lands, Blighted Bat, uh, Zombie which you can give haste, Destroy Tire of Black or Black black Creature, Black Planeswalker, it's really not Planeswalker, nope. So these were a cool cycle, but uh, you don't generally want to play them unlimited. You can cite, you can cite them in, but uh, we're playing best of one a day. So let's just do Zomboys and Zomgirls. Don't let's even. If near Deadlands, I think there's got to be the Deadlands here. I think, oh, there's a few things actually. This Splendid Agony is really good. Um, I'm just going to get a Desert, and this is a strong Desert, does what I want to do. Um, but the Splendid Agony is really good as well. But not having desert yet, I really want to go for the Ifnia Deadlands. Move this on the side because I'm not playing it. But yeah, the, if you've not played the, the format before, the deserts are really key. There's uh, certain cards that care about you having deserts. Um, zero to and it's a battlefield. You may exile target creature if it attacked a block this turn. Turn that to battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. I remember this card, but I don't remember it playing beginning of the next end step. So you're just taking a card out of... I'm just going to go for the Eternal. Zombie, effect two. Uh, yeah. Onward to victory. X plus O until end of X is power. And then Aftermath, target trick is double strike. No, I don't think so. Doom to center, I think, is what I'm going to go for here. Uh, Miasmic Mummy, sure. Definitely doing the zombie thing. You've got quite a low curve here so far, which is what you want with this deck. You can get a couple of uh, big splashy cards at the top end, but uh, it, it is just an aggro deck at the end of the day. And that's fine. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this because I think if I play it, I think it's going to be really good. And the 1 4 is not really going to be get, played in this deck. I don't want a companion. And then Cascade and Cataract is a card which I don't want. Uh, this cares about tokens on the battlefield and gain life. Not really something I'm that bothered about. Hope Tender isn't something I'm bothered about. Cartouche of Solidarity uh, is something I think I could do, seeing I've already got the Trial of Solidarity. So plus one, plus one, and first strike on a creature, and it makes a one-one Vigilance. Yes, please. Um, Sacred Cast, I'm not too bothered about. Don't want another Cartridge of Solidarity, I don't want this Dauntless Haven. It attacks, untap target creature you control. It could work quite well with this. So yeah, let's, let's go for it. It can untap itself, it gives something vigilance, it can leave a blocker up, it's really good. Put this on the side for now. I mean, this could even be like a 15 land deck here if. Uh, oh, I mean, it's not the card that I want here, but uh, that's pretty good. Unconventional Tactics, that's a card I'm going to be probably picking straight away here. Farm to Market, less so. Splendid Agony is pretty good, but yeah, I want unconventional tactics here. It's it's sweet with zombies. Target zombie gets plus three, plus three, and flying. And when a zombie enters the battlefield, you may pay white. If you do turn it your hand, yeah, it's, it's just unbelievable that. Sunscourge Champion, gain life equal to its power. Two, three, gains life. Impeccable timing. Uh, three damage target attacking a blocking creature. Lethal Sting. Uh, destroys a creature by putting a minus one, minus one counter on something. Uh, Wandering Death is quite a good effect in a deck like this, actually, because uh, a lot of your stuff is probably going to die. Yeah, I'm going to go for this. I think I don't want more than one. Sun, Sun Scourge Camp. No, let's just go for the Sun Scourge Camp Champion. It's a three drop and then it's a four drop later, and you can make something big. Uh, ooh, Grind the Dust. Put a minus one minus one credit up to two target creatures. Solid. Uh, exile any number. Yeah, so uh, that's just going to be getting snapped up here. That's exactly what we want. Uh, not to mention it's a rare, so we'll get that little bit of value from that as well. Uh, Sunset Pyramid, not what we want to do. Even of Enduring Hope, gain some life. Okay. Uh, Solitary Camel is a lifelink. Uh, that's five mana. I don't really want to do five mana. 
Or just one of those Miasmic Mummy. Maybe. Could get cut, but I don't think there was much else going on there. And uh, I really like some more like actual cards to care about zombies, I think. Another Binding Mummy or a, uh, one of the signpost Uncommons, the Black White Uncommons, would be great. Uh, Chef at Dunes is a good alternative as well, though. Uh, so you can sac it's another desert, and you can sacrifice to give creatures in control plus one plus one. Um, and this can't block unless you control another zombie. You don't want to block anyway. It's it's solid. It's a three mana three three in the zombie deck, and I think that's pretty good. But the Chef at Dunes is good. And we're getting stuff anyway. Trial of Ambition is good as well. Uh, so we've got. I think I want to go up on more cartouches now as well. So and as a battlefield opponent, sacrifice a creature. And if a cartouche comes into play, you can return all of the trials to your hand, so you can then cast it again. So um, definitely want to... If I see another white cartouche now, I'm probably going to snap it up because uh, the Trial of Ambition is really good. Um, here, Mighty Leap, don't really need that when we've got the other thing. Um, got a lot of two drops, so I'm just going to go for this three drop here. And you give it haste more than you would think. I mean, you know, just four mana to do two damage to the face is... Uh, pretty good and if it's a zombie you can tap something down as well with the binding mummy or the wayward servant will drain them for one and i think it just does quite a lot there more thing about the sun scourge champion is good because uh, it fits in with a nice curve but if it dies then i can uh, bring it back later on and it's a bit of a mana sink in the deck which doesn't have a lot of things oh splendid agony at this point that's fantastic uh you can like two for that quite easily Uh, lethal Sting or Wandering Death. I've already got the Wandering Death, so uh, did I get the Wandering Death? Pretty sure I did. Thought I picked one up. Oh well. I think I want the Lethal Sting out of those there. The Honor's Defeat, I'm just going to put that on the side because of uh, it's an uncommon, so a little bit of vault progress. Uh, Mouth of Feed, a solid card in green, but unfortunately we can't play it. We've got another Chef at Dunes there, which is probably worth playing. It'll be a bit painful. Wow, there's a lot of red here. Deem worthy. I mean, I'm just not red. So basically it's between these four cards and, yeah, I think. Scarab Feet is, is, well, not great actually. I wasn't what I was thinking of. I was thinking of something else. I thought it was something which um, made insects. I can't remember what that card was. Um, oh, Lord of Extinction. Toughness, power and toughness equal to the number of uh, cards in all graveyards. It's a cool card. It wasn't in the original set. It was, um, the braid's pretty good as well. Uh, destined to lead again. Where's the green white one? I really like the green white one. So, yeah, this is, I think it might have been one of the showcase cards. Not showcase cards, the masterpieces or whatever they were. Uh, okay, there's Avenger. Yeah, that was just a solid attacker. It's not a zombie, but uh, it's a strong white attacker. Another Trial of Solidarity, Compulsory Rest. Uh, is good removal, final reward. I think I might go for the Compulsory Rest in this deck over the final reward, but some decks you might want the final reward instead. Um, I don't think I want a second Trial of Solidarity. I would have taken a second Trial of Ambition, but not a second Trial of Solidarity. This is looking to be a fun deck. I'm just going to put this on the side. I don't really want it. Um, here. This is a really good card. Uh, if you're doing the blue-white thing. It's so good. Rags to riches. All creatures get minus two, minus two until the end of turn. And each opponent chooses a creature they control. You can get control of those creatures. That's a cool card, but uh, it kind of goes against my game plan. So I'm just going to take... No, actually, I'm going to take that. For, uh, no. I'm not going to get all progress from that or anything. I won't. I don't have any copies of it yet, so I'm just going to take the thing. Uh, it's probably going to be Fan Bearer. Grave Digger is pretty good. Uh, Tarkrop Elite is also very good. Um, ooh, that's a tough one actually. That's very tough. Don't think I want the Grave Digger here. I'm going to go for Target Card Elite. It uh, just pumps my whole team. Oh, here it is. Appeal to Authority. That is what I was wanting. So, um, for three mana, one of which has to be green, uh, you 
pump something massive and then you tap a lot of stuff the opponent's control. Yeah, let's do that. I really enjoyed doing that in the original format. <gasps> get another one. Yes! That is fun. And we get a fan bearer. Sweet. So this is coming together quite nicely. Might cut out some of the black. Um, this is a solid card. But yeah, I might cut out some of the black because uh, I want to... I've got some of the white stuff there now as well. Um, the scorpion can go. I had to give up another cartouche for the... Um, eh, do I just take this? I think I do. I don't think I'm going to play anything else from there. I think I've got my deck pretty sorted. So I, that, I feel that should have gone. I think it's just... Well, it's, I don't know. Is it harder to get more than a 5-5? Five, five? Five and a 5-5? Five, five? I don't know. Uh, Festering Mummy. So I'm at 17 creatures and 10 non-creatures. I might just... I might actually take out the... Uh, Trial of Solidarity. Doesn't look glorified. I'll put it inside. I don't think I'm taking... I don't have anything which requires deserts. Ooh, and I'll take the 3 mana 3-3. Three, three. That is not a bad final pick. So I think I want creatures in my deck here. Uh, so I'm going to be looking at... What non-creatures I've got. Um, and they're all quite good. Let's be honest. With four cuts to make. I think it... Kind of... A sensible cut... Would be the appeal authorities, but I really like that card, so I'm going to leave them in. Um, I think I can take out at least one of these. Three might destroy something. Yes, I got a weak one of my own creatures, but that's fine. If you need green black, I think was a minus one minus one counter deck. This is really cool because then you could actually get benefit from it. Trial Ambition staying in. Um, you know what? I don't think I need this. I mean, what I'm doing. And I could definitely drop a land. So let's drop the Lethal Sting. I'm going to drop a creature. Probably another two drop. Take out another well, like mummy, and then seven and seven and three. We'll drop the we'll drop the forest. Because although this is a three like kind of a three drop card we cast in both parts, it's uh, definitely a late game card, so I can afford to wait until I get that forest. And I'll probably will get manuscript at some point, but we'll deal with that when we come to it. Okay, mistake not. Hopefully mistake, yes, by you if uh, we get some wins out of this. Uh, fan bearer, three white cards. Eh, we'll keep it. Ooh, hello. We've got a for forest for appeal there, so that's pretty good. Maybe it's like a discard a card. You may pay one to do, put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. I remember that being quite good. Um, and... That's a green, so it's looking like it's a um, minus one, minus one counters deck. There is some cycling in black. I just tap that dude down here. Uh, I probably allow, allow it to attack in actually. Online card from exile that card. Sure. I don't know what we're gonna take. Peel authority, maybe. If you know it's coming, then you can play around it a little bit. I hope to take it and then I draw the other one. I mean, I want to draw sort in the meantime, but uh, there's a swamp that I wanted, and that costs two to activate. So let's just play the bat. And yeah, I'll attack. 
because I want to get in for the damage. I think they're going to be better in the long game. This doesn't have reach, does it? No. It's an archer, but it doesn't have reach. Okay. Um... Let's just play the Kenra Eternal, and then I can tap the Bone Picker in their turn. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, you don't want to do that, mate. I uh, don't think there's any one mana. So. I can give this plus three, plus three. I can get in with everything. Leave two mana up. And then. I think it might just be worth doing, actually. Because they're expecting it. And then I can tap down the Champion Aronis in their turn. So I don't want them doing that too much. It's fine. Planes. Attack with both of these. And this turn I can. So this is looking quite good. So I can play the Tarkrat release. I can leave some mana up to tap stuff down. And then next turn I can activate the Shepherd Dunes. And exit this. So I'll tap down the Champion Ronas. Uh, my turn I can tap down, tap down the bone pick if I want. Exiled a creature they control. And I think I'll exile the fan bearer. Don't think they want to attack. They'll want to block the tar crop elite. And they've got to block something else as well. Which afflicts one. Now, I don't know if they actually had the well. That was a tough block for them because the tar crop elite wasn't unblocked the next turn, wasn't untapped the next turn. What they're gonna cheat out here? Sift one. Yeah, call it. So gains three life. One, two, three, and then four with the afflict. You can uh, cast something else as well. Oh no, it doesn't gain three life. It uh, scribes three and gains an amount of life. So that's how much life they gain, and see what they put on top. Uh, yeah, and step each opponent is likely on the most tapped creatures you control. That's not a great card. It's it's cool, but it's not great. Do I have anything else? If I don't have something with reach, yeah, that doesn't seem like it's going to do anything. Do I have any, anything else? Ooh, 
Ooh, yeah, I see what they want to do there. Yeah. I think that was all she wrote, because this is going to get plus one, plus one. And then afflict from this. So yeah, these deserts are really strong, you can see why. I suppose I could have put a, that cycling desert in. Um, but I think you sacrifice a cycling desert, but to be honest, with two of those, and then the, I've got the black desert as well, um, it was probably just fine the way it was. So yeah, one win, feeling good. Round two, Dark Water 2K. Hopefully we're going to get another game like last game. Um, got lands. Got another field of authority for later. I think I can keep this. Play some first. So, if I play uh, planes, it would indicate I'm going aggro. Um, but playing a swamp doesn't necessarily indicate that. So it might mess their turns up a little bit. Probably won't. Like it's 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 a very small thing, but. Uh, Ooh, I definitely want to forest now. <laughs> uh, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Let's just attack in. And then play the bat. Because I'm not going to be wanting to do a lot of blocking anyway in this deck. A land now. Any land would be great. If, well, any land I'm going to play the target elite. elite. Um, but a forest. So I'm going to play the appeal of authorities later. That would be good. Red green. Hmm. Uh power two or less. Okay, so red green is it just big things? Was that the archetype? I can't remember. Was it a type of exert? Ooh, that's uh pretty good. Can't attack a block. Yeah, so that's a bit annoying actually. And that needs another swamp. Needs to exert it to ping the bat, but uh, seems pretty good. Don't know how much one toughness stuff there is in this format. I, there's a few things, uh, definitely. Yeah, don't disagree there. There's, there was a card which you can uh, use to unblock, uh, untap, sorry, uh, your stuff in this uh, format, which was quite good. 3-1 uh, and a 2-1. So what I think I'm going to do here is compulsory the rest of the 3-1. And then exert this and attack with this. Get number six, which doesn't feel too bad at all. Yes, it can gain some life from the uh, from the compulsory arrest, but it meant that meant I was able to attack there. So appeal authority, if I give it my stuff vigilance and this gets vigilance, I can attack with it next turn as well. You watch my own life tool. I won't be able to attack with it next turn, but I can exert it without tapping it. Ooh, okay. Uh yeah, that's uh, pretty good. But so is this. I think I'm just going to cast it now. And cast it on these two. Let's 
yeah, X1s, it appears, are all over, and Splendid Agony is fantastic. Yeah, get into your life. I'll take it back off them. When it actually attacks, there we go. It's done that a couple of times today. Don't know why. I'm just going to destroy all creatures on the ground now. Ooh, fan bearer. We could definitely cast Earth here, Heaven to Earth. Uh, but they'll kill our own thing as well. But they could easily have a big beast in their hand. Uh, seven mana. Definitely wary of a Sifter Worm here. No sift. Ooh, there we go. Um, I feel I've got something. I feel I've got something. Ooh, cycling. And let's just give him a bit of vigilance as well. Because then I can tap one of their things down on their turn. Down to one. So there's lots of things. For all I'm going to cast Earth here, almost definitely. Um, there's a lot of things I can do to get that one life off them. There's ways I can gain life, but there's things I can do to get the one life off them. Still got the Deadlands as well. Can't see what they can do here to save this, but uh, let's just make sure we tap it in case. Okay, so I can give something haste. Uh, still can't activate this, which is a bit annoying. They're not killing me anytime soon. And that's a bit of life that I wanted. If they kill it, it comes back bigger. Uh, I need to discard a card, but that's fine. That was a pretty good draw. Hoodie B, Hooded Brawler. Feels like it's, oh, well, I could tap this to give it haste, so that could be the instant speed thing. Um, Right, so let's try the appeal to authority. And if they do something to the Sun Scourge Champion here, I can uh, grind the dust. There we go. So, appeal to authority is an amazing card. Um, I think I did a video on this last time I kept Renasus was out. Just you know, I think I put it in. Another black white deck, probably actually, but uh, yeah, it's 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 super strong, and that's why I love playing it, and it just catches people out massively as well, especially if you don't really know the format. But yeah, very splashable card, very very splashable card. White as night, or wheat as night. I don't know, wheat as wheat as. Uh, some good mana here. Got a fan bearer. Got a champion. Got an appeal to authority. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with this. This feels good. Opponent's having a bit of a think. We're on the play. I'm feeling confident about this one here. Opponent's having a good think. Wittiest. Whitest. I don't know. The A is not capitalised, but the W and the KR, so it definitely indicates that... Uh, this is one word. I suppose as this is YouTube, let me know in the comments if you know how it's said. 
Uh, right, cool. Opponent's kept seven. And we're going to go for the fan bearer. Uh, that might mean that they've kept a bad hand. Or a potentially bad hand. Dark creature gets plus two because it's flying. What's this one? Uh, so yeah, just doesn't untap. That's fine. And I think I'm just going to call the Sun Scourge champion. A blue green, which is a ramp um, archetype. And sometimes it's uh, like a five color blue green because uh, there's a lot of uh, ways to ramp and get fixed colors. Exit to draw a card. Cool. So let's unconventional tactics. And the next turn I can dispose of mummy and get the unconventional tactics back to hand. What are we going to do? Did they mean to exert that? I think uh, they meant to exert it. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so if you're watching at home, you need to click to exert. Ooh, I want to excavate. That's pretty sweet. Um, as is that. So let's. Gotta use this for white. For this, ah no, totally missed tap there. Uh, specifically, uh, tap this for white. Whoops, that was a bit of a mistake, but uh, I think we can recover from it. Actually, if they attack out, swing out here, we might just be able to win. Maybe. Got a Chef of Dunes as well, which is pretty good. Yeah, they're just drawing cards here, so I'm feeling pretty good. Um, that the combination of these cards will be able to get through for me. Defiant Great Maul. Cool. Uh, and if I feel it's two minus one minus counters on target creature you control, uh, and you put one or more minus one counters on it, remove minus one minus one counter from another creature you control. Sweet. Uh, right, so let's. So we've got five mana. So now we can do this and this. Uh, and then next turn we can do this in both parts of this. So first of all, Cartouche of Solidarity on the. So it's going to get plus one, plus one, and first strike. So it's not going to die to whatever they block it with. And then I'm going to give this flying. We've got another creature for the appeal to authority. Um, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's not going to be quite enough. So let's just go with what we got here. And next turn, if there's no counters or anything, we should be in the clear for a win. Ronus Monument isn't going to do anything. River Hoopoo, sweet card, but also isn't going to do anything. Yeah, you're pretty dead. Uh, despite my slight misplay earlier, could have got the cartouche down a turn earlier, but never mind. This card is just unbelievable. Oh, and it's a desert. Uh, sweet. So let's do this. Do this. My stuff gets vigilance. Uh, swing in. Good game. 
just I mean when you know you've got that inevitability and I don't know it's just it's not like a broken card but I feel really happy to have it in my deck and it might make the mana a bit rubbish but it's it's when it works it works I only have more than one like yeah it, it's fantastic the opponent can't play around it I don't think uh, the fact that you give make one of your things huge usually I mean okay they can remove your creatures and you give yourself vigilance so you can't die the crack back and you take out two of their blockers it's, it's three mana it's ridiculous it does have other flexibility where you can just cast the green part if you if you want to uh, if you discard it you can cast the white part it, yeah it's it's solid it's absolutely solid green white was like a tokens deck it's quite good with uh, is it a Ketras monument I think makes one ones when you cast a white spell or cast a creature spell um, yeah okay we can go for this want to Forest for this, but we can wait for that. We've got a Binding Mummy and a Marauding Bone Slasher. Um, yeah. On the draw, which kind of sucks, but apart from that, I'm happy. So this guy's champion's quite good as well. It's not a zombie, but it does come back as a zombie, so that's uh, nice. Start with the planes. Maybe shouldn't have. Blue White, that's Feeling quite nice to me. Won't give anything away by playing the swamp. Do they have a counter? I think Essence Scatter was in this format. Don't have a counter. So what? They might have something. Blue White was. Oh, Blue White was tokens uh, or Eternal Eyes and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, so Embalm and Eternal Eyes. Uh, to spell, sacrifice it. It's not a spell, but it is an ability. This is how the Zomboys work in this, de in this deck. Another one of these, or another one of the... Uh, the Black White Uncommons have been sweet, but... Ooh, that's spicy. Ha! Yeah. Didn't even draw the cards because it didn't enter the battlefield. Uh, yeah, oops. So let's just Sun Scourge Champion. Give me a bit of life. Swing out with these. What have they got for a single white? I'm not sure. I'm sure Mana Tithe isn't in this format. Yeah. The, uh,. They kind of messed up a little bit. They might have thought that Aura was a ability rather than a um, rather than a target of the spell, but it's if you bring an Aura back from the graveyard, it then targets a creature. But if you cast it, it targets a creature in the first place. Uh, so, and it's from the graveyard, it's an ability targets. Uh, I think I think that's how it works. Four nil so far. Hoping to go for the full seven. Oh, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think it's like a busted deck or anything, but it's definitely the one I want, and this is the hand that I want as well. Uh, Trial of Ambition is pretty spicy. Uh, go for the planes first. Planes on red, so likely to be some kind of aggressive deck. Play the, play the Swamp. Definitely do the Trial of Ambition before the Compulsory Rest because it could sacrifice whatever I Compulsory Rest. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that just getting played there. Got both my forests out. <clears throat> I mean, that does happen when you play a deck like this, but. There we are. Kenra Scrapper is fair enough. Grind the Dust. Um, then it's in a 1 2, so actually that's quite good. So. Um, no, let's. Trial of Ambition. Yep, I expected that. 
and compulsory arrest the scrapper. And get in. So they've got a bit of life gain there, but they're probably going to want to play their stuff. I hope they play two X ones here. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, and then this is going to do that. So this is like, um, I suppose it's sorcery speed, but it's two mana version of that. Other. Ooh. That's a good sign for me. That's fine. Um... Prowess, so I can cast that I can cast both sides of that next turn, so next turn I can exile their stuff. And if I pay something big, we're at five mana here, so that'd be quite good. Play cartouche as well, that'd be well, cartouche would be fine. Sacrifice this, I suppose. Does it hold? I uh, can't remember what that one does. It's just. And it's battlefield. Game through life. Can't attack a block and it's activated, but it can't be activated. That's fine. Okay. Um, just play this fan bearer. Tap down there, creature. Looks like they've got something. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember the instants that are in the format now. Uh, there's open fire for three. I think there's, oh, there's a braid as well. That's what I was. I, that's what I was expecting. When I saw the, the big manor actually. Um, so let's do this, and then this. And attack for three. And next turn I can tap something down with a Festering Mummy, come in and trigger off the Binding Mummy. Ooh, that's a cool, that's a cool card. Ah, even better. So, where would Servant to start? I'm just going to play this as well. Because then I get the Drain. I suppose I'll tap the uh, Scrapper. I've got another thing to attack with next turn. Okay, sacrifice to gain two life, and I get in for three. Uh, next turn, uh, I can't activate this, but I can't act uh, I can't activate either of them. So this is where the mana's kind of getting a little bit screwed up, but at the same time, if I draw a swamp, a plains, or an appeal to authority, I'm laughing. If I draw a creature, I'm probably going to tap something that is down. This can tap down as well. And, oh, no. Oh, don't want to do that. Um... Let's just let's just do this because this is instant. So I can do that on their turn. I still got five here unless I do anything. Probably got something to do here. Magma spray. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Get pinged for one. I still get in for three. Might want to the binding mummy. Oh yes, that is why I like this card. Nice, nice, nice. Boom. Uh, can't attack. I need another white source for that, but that's just yeah. They know, they know they're dead. Um, again, for four that turn, and then I can still tap something down uh, on my next turn or something like that. So, yeah, that was pretty good. Five nil in platinum, pretty good. I'm happy with that. Match six, let's go for the seven o Bo Bozo. Uh, I, mana's fine. Mana's fine. I've got like black things here, uh, like, and if I get a planes, I'm really happy. 
on the play as well. I've been quite lovely with that this game, this this draft, I think. Opponent is Mulliganen. Uh, so I've got turn two, turn three. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, a three mana three three is just quite good in this format, and that's pretty sweet as well. Do need the white mana for it. Not last game, I actually won without the. Um, that the. Plus one, plus one, so then a turn. I can't block my creature with power two or less this turn. Cool. I'll probably just allow it through. Got a splendid agony as well if I want to do something about it, but uh, prefer just to get my creatures out. Hopefully, get some a nice two for one again with this. Looks like they've got some kind of removal spell, or maybe they're just having a bit of a read. Hoodie B. Um, and a fan bearer. Now, definitely want some white mana now, but let's uh, just. Do this on Hoodie B. Get in for four. I'm feeling quite good, and I'll feel even better if I get a planes. Don't know what I'd play when I get planes. Kind of need two to really go off. Ooh, another hoodie B. Okay, that's quite good. That is quite good, and I'm really. I'll happily trade this for the hoodie brawler. And they're happy to not trade. It's like a trample. No, it's plus two, plus two. Let's just block here. Stop some damage and get a 2 2. What do they have? Um, they could easily kill me on the crackback with some kind of pump spell or something. But if I draw uh, Appeal to Authority, I don't think that quite wins it. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. This isn't winning either. Do they want to attack? That's a question. Probably do. Yeah. No exert. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, okay, that's a, yeah, that's a card. Um... Planes, but potentially too late. However, let's do that. Sacrifice the desert. And next turn, like unconventional tactics potentially. <clears throat> it's definitely one attack in the air. Uh, one, two, three. Eight, nine, ten. They're gonna attack four. So let's do that. And potentially gain life here. No. Okay. So it looks like they're trying to exert this. So it doesn't get trample. Five, six, seven, eight. So let's block this one. That's the only thing we can do. No trample. Any flyers? No flyers. We've also got. This and I think that's all she wrote. Ooh! One through. Oh, did we? Yeah. Whew! I mean, you just see how, like, you know, that I was. Definitely on the disadvantage there. The man I was not being my friend, but uh, it still was a, a solid win. Like, yeah, the, that that thing which gives the creature plus three, plus three in flying, and then you just get it back. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You need you need a lot of mana to cast it twice in a turn, but uh, at 6-0, and oh, I'm very happy with how this deck's turning out. I think I'd be happy with a 6-3 if I was looking at it at the start of the draft, but uh, now I'm 6-0, I definitely want to go 7-0. Definitely, definitely want to go 7-0. And if I don't get the trophy, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed here. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. And it's a gold player. So that is, to my advantage, gold one. Um, hopefully it'll go nicely here. Um, not the best hand. Got, we've only got the Sheffield Dunes, but I think we can keep this. Uh, I'm on the draw anyway, so yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this. Uh, try the Ambition just to remove one of their early spells. Um, I've got another land, so I'm feeling a lot better about this because the Sporting Mummy can then come in turn three. Um, well, I'm not going to cast the Trial of Ambition now because I haven't played a creature yet. But this uh, this mana is looking a lot better now. So let's just play the... No, I'm going to play the bat next... No, I'm going to be playing this next turn, I think. So... Mm. No, I'll play this. Counter? A trip blue here so far. No counter. I really should have uh, looked at what the instant speed spells were in this format. Uh, oh, okay. That's quite a good one. That's also quite a good one. So, when it attacks, another target creature gets flying until end of turn. And when you cycle it, so the it didn't, they're stuck on lines a little bit. Uh, let's clear the board a little bit, I think. And hopefully they're going to be really stuck on lands here. I might as well just cast this. 3-1 flyer is not something I really want to deal with. Especially not when I've got two flyers on my own in hand. Next turn, probably the Tarkrop Elite. Okay. The Ethernet Deadline feels quite nicely. Please put something on it. Oh, yeah. That feels good. And so does that. Uh, attacks, prevent all common damage. Don't do it this turn. And I could cast these two instead. You know what, let's just do this. I've got another land here. So I've got five mana for the next turn as well. I'm just putting in that damage. Three, two, flyer. Uh, grind of dust is nice. Uh, I think I'm just going to offer the trade here. If I get another land, I can cast both sides of this and just two for one them. And this is feeling quite good. Uh, if I don't get a land, I got this. I can do some shenanigans with creatures and stuff here. The minus one, minus one counters are great. Uh, Kardashian Solidarity is a bit annoying. It gets first strike, but uh, yep. Not going to block there. Um, looks like they've got something, but let's just attack with these. Play this. It's close. It's a close game. I think I'm in a good position. But I could not be as well. I mean, next turn, if I don't have anything, I'll just win next turn, I think. We're at 13 damage coming through next turn. Appeal Authority isn't going to do what I want it to do, but let's start with this. So they can't get us with a pump spell.
I can always cast this at a later date. Just attack normally with that. And do I get it? What'll I have? Some kind of flash creature? Can't think of any flash creatures that are in the format apart from this one. I think I knew about that one. Uh, okay. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm still taking them down to one, and I'm getting another flyer out. They can draw cards with it, I think. Draw two cards and discard two cards. Then we've got a forest. I mean, so Shafat Dunes can just make everything bigger on my side. Um, this isn't untapping next turn, unfortunately. This can untap something, so it's, these, these are a good, really good pair. They're having a read of dust, so then I can get rid of this if I want to. They can gain life with the Nimblon's Obstructionist, which I did forget about that last turn. Yep, yeah, they just know it. Oh, there we go. 7 0. I am. Um, incredibly happy with that uh it's not been my favorite like the format i think this format's great i love going back i love that wizards have given us uh, the free drafts and uh hopefully it's inspired a few people to get out there and draft but uh yeah deck felt good I i'm happy it had a positive win rate but i was not expecting a, a cheeky 7-0 um yeah happy with that let's just prove that i got there as it comes through so there we go seven win wins no losses always nice to have it doesn't happen all that often especially not for me but uh yeah really enjoyed this i might run another one back i don't know i'll definitely be doing a kaladesh remastered and if the deck isn't awful i'll, I'll be posting it uh only reason for that is i don't see the point of posting a deck which goes zero three uh, as long as it goes three three or something i'll probably post it if i don't if i don't post one uh, it's either because i've had a technical issue or i've absolutely uh bombed the draft but it's a draft format i really like so i'm looking forward to that one and i'll probably do a couple of drafts of it anyway because I, I, I do really enjoy it Thanks again. If you enjoyed it, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think of the deck. And I hope to see you again soon. See you at the draft table.